Well, what a beautiful, exciting day for a helicopter to arrive here at Nobles Hospital. And with me is Andy. And you must tell us the story because basically you, you're tying up here with the Isle of Man uh, you know, health people and we're going to have a sort of helicopter trial, are we, for people who need to be moved quickly? That's right. Um, so as a result of the report by Sir Jonathan Michaels, um, we're working now with Manx Care and the Health and Care Transformation Programme to explore how a HEM service might work for the people of the Isle of Man. Um, so it's a real privilege to be here today to meet all of the people that we've um, spoken to over Teams and Zooms and, and all of those kind of things. Um, and what a great team it is. Um, and we're really proud to kind of bring our expertise and knowledge of pre-hospital care over to the island um, for the benefit of your population. Mm. So what happened up to now then? I mean, how did you were involved, I presume, or you were on request? How did you be and what's the difference? So it's, it's been quite a long story, partly mm. because of the delays uh, caused through the pandemic, but um, through, uh, through us being really one of the, one of the more local air ambulances, um, we, began, we began speaking about two years ago. Um, had the delay and then that was that conversation was restarted again um, through Manx Care and Healthcare Transformation mm -hmm. Programme to um, to look at improving sort of air access and the air bridge mm -hmm. for residents of the Isle of Man. Obviously the benefit of HEMS is that if we can intervene early enough and avoid that secondary transfer, we know from all of the evidence that that's far more beneficial for the patient. Mm -hmm. And you know we can bring the emergency department to the scene mm -hmm. by delivering anaesthesia, by performing emergency surgery, blood transfusions, we bring the hospital to the patient and then take them direct um, to specialist care. Right, so you wouldn't necessarily go to the cliff face, would you, to pick someone up, or would you be more picking them up here to take them back to the UK sort of thing? So we can respond to the roadside at the point ah. of the accident okay. um, and deliver what's called pre-hospital care at the scene. And then we'd actually bypass Nobles Hospital to get the patient in about, from the island, 30 minutes to Aintree. Mm -hmm. um, we've got incredibly capable aircraft. They'll cruise to 160 knots. We can fly in lots of weather. Um, so, this, you know, the service has evolved. We've upgraded our fleet and we're in a position now to look at this service. So when you get a call from where are you base, Penrith, is it? So we've got a base in near Penrith yeah. and a base at Teesside. How long can it, is it, you know, the time between you getting the call and you getting here on a normal day? Is there such a thing? Sure. For the, the flight time from Cumbria is about 25 to 30 minutes, would you believe? So, so really quick. Mm. Um, and as I say, and then we can be at the, at the patient's side and then take them directly to entry uh, or the hospital systems in the northwest wherever is best for them. Any idea how often this will be needed? I mean, is there some sort of you know, plan of how many times a year that you could be called out? We, we know some of the transfer data. Um, we, you know, we're here to complement uh, the established fixed wing service anyway. So we understand some of the transfer data, but what we, what we don't know yet is how that might transpose into us being able to get to the patient before they reach Nobles. Um, What's really exciting is that Manx Carer um, are keen to adapt and improve the service as we, as we learn more about how to give the best care. And that's always a problem when we're an isolated island sometimes, is getting the, the specialist care that you need. And you, this way, it's going to be a massive increase in speed and the, the, the gold now and all those sort of things you hear about. Yeah? Absolutely. Well, by, you know, we've, for 15 years now, we've been working with consultant-led doctor paramedic teams um, and over those 15 years we've learned and adapted and improved and you know it's really exciting to think we can bring that bring that expertise to the Isle of Man.